What if the James Webb Space Telescope has just done the unthinkable, captured a type of light no other observatory has ever seen? Not just starlight from early galaxies or the scattered glow of dust clouds, but something far more elusive. What if this newly detected signal points to light that logically should not exist within the known boundaries of our universe? A strange, repeating signal has surfaced in one of Webb's deepest and most sensitive scans. It's unlike any known structure, neither a galaxy nor a quasar, nor even the lingering echo of the cosmic microwave background. This signal pulses with peculiar, highly ordered patterns, and a growing number of physicists believe we may be looking at light from a time before the Big Bang. This isn't science fiction. It's rooted in real, cutting-edge theoretical physics combined with the unprecedented power of the James Webb Space Telescope. While Webb was engineered to peer into the cosmic dawn, the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, it may have gone further. Much further. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has long posited that our universe might be the offspring of a larger, parent, universe. If that's the case, then faint residual photons, ancient light particles, could have survived the collapse of that parent universe and remained imprinted on the fabric of ours. Now, with Webb's unmatched sensitivity in the infrared spectrum, we might be detecting those photons for the very first time. Since its deployment, Webb has shattered observational records, unveiling galaxies born just a few hundred million years after the beginning of time. But now, beyond those infant galaxies, deep in the void, researchers have stumbled upon something altogether different. In May 2025, while observing a newly processed ultra-deep field, scientists noticed a soft, repeating pattern of infrared light, appearing consistently in multiple independent scans. Initially, the team suspected a technical malfunction or a calibration artifact. But further checks ruled out any instrumental glitches or interference. The signal persisted. It wasn't a flare from a dying star or rogue data stream. It was embedded in the very fabric of the cosmic void. This signal doesn't just glow, it pulses with symmetry. It appears to resonate with similar oscillations as the cosmic microwave background, the oldest light we've ever detected. But unlike that microwave radiation, which flows forward through time, this new signal seems to be flipped. It behaves like a mirror image, as if it were reflecting off some unseen barrier at the edge of the universe. This discovery has ignited debates among physicists and cosmologists. The oscillations are too regular to be dismissed as random background noise. Some believe it's tied to the fundamental rhythms of the universe, but running in reverse, an echo of creation that plays backward. Kaku and others in the theoretical physics community suggest we might be seeing photons that originated in a previous cosmic cycle. String theory and multiverse models propose the existence of multiple bubble universes, each with its own physics. According to this theory, two such bubbles can occasionally collide, birthing a new universe. If so, then what Webb detected could be the faint, last breath of an older universe that died so ours could be born. Could this be the ghost light of a former cosmos? To explore this, scientists turned to advanced deep learning models. When conventional data analysis failed to interpret the pattern, machine learning algorithms were employed to clean and enhance the raw signal. One of the neural networks revealed something astonishing. The pulses showed signs of entropy reversal, the direction of time was inverted. This breaks a fundamental principle of thermodynamics. In our universe, entropy, the measure of disorder, always increases over time. But these photons appeared to follow the opposite rule, becoming more ordered as time progressed. Dr. Elena Morova, a quantum physicist, noted that this behavior aligns with particles that violate time symmetry. In such scenarios, time could flow backward for certain particles or systems, offering a radically different perspective on causality. Some researchers now argue that this signal may be a direct observation of captain symmetry, where charge, parity, and time inversion are preserved across universes with mirrored physical laws. If this ghost signal truly emerged from a prior universe, it wouldn't just represent another cosmic cycle. It would suggest that such a universe followed entirely different rules, where time could reverse, entropy could decrease, and causality might not function as we understand it. 
The mystery deepened further when signal processing algorithms removed additional background interference. What emerged were light fluctuations that closely matched the Fibonacci sequence, a mathematical pattern found throughout nature, from the spirals of galaxies to the arrangement of leaves on a stem. This raised another question. Could the signal contain information? Dr. Amar Chandra, an expert in astrophysical signal patterns, noted that the ordered structure of the pulse resembled digital compression, a sign that the light may not just be natural, but encoded. This revelation caught the attention of SETI researchers, who analyze space signals for signs of intelligent life. According to the late Dr. Jill Tarter, one hallmark of an artificial signal is that it will stand out from random noise using distinct mathematical patterns. And that's exactly what this light seems to be doing. Could we be observing a transmission? A cosmic whisper left behind from a universe that knew it was dying? It's a provocative thought. But regardless of whether it's artificial or natural, one fact is clear. If these photons are genuine, they would represent the oldest light ever detected, predating the Big Bang itself. And here's the kicker. The redshift of the signal, a measure of how much the universe has stretched the light over time, places this signal beyond the cosmic horizon. In other words, the photons didn't just come from far away, they appear to have come from before time as we define it. Dr. Foran Anandith, a physicist studying causality, described it like this. If our models are correct, these photons crossed a boundary that physics says should be uncrossable. They shouldn't exist in our timeline, but they do. Some theories suggest that these ancient photons may have tunneled through a causal boundary, slipped from a previous universe via quantum fluctuation, or emerged from a superluminal epoch, an era of faster-than-light expansion before known inflation began. The most intriguing theoretical framework that supports such a claim is Sir Roger Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology. According to this idea, universes are born and die in a repeating cycle. Each one expands until it becomes empty and then transforms into the seed of a new universe. Penrose has long searched for signs of this process in the microwave background. But perhaps Webb's superior infrared vision has uncovered what microwave telescopes like WMAP or Planck could not. If Penrose and Kaku are both right, then what Webb has glimpsed isn't just a quirk of physics, it's evidence of cosmic reincarnation. The universe as we know it may not be the first. Nor will it be the last. So, why did the James Webb Space Telescope detect this when no other instrument could? The answer lies in its design. With its massive 6.5-meter mirror and unprecedented infrared sensitivity, Webb can capture incredibly faint and distant light. Its instruments are tuned to pick up light so redshifted that it would appear invisible to every other telescope we've built. This particular signal falls outside the detection range of previous missions. The Planck satellite, the Hubble Space Telescope, even COBE, all of them were designed to observe different wavelengths, missing this narrow window. That's what makes this discovery so profound. If this truly is a signal from beyond the Big Bang, whether it be the fading memory of a previous universe or a burst of exotic particles breaking time itself, it changes everything. It reshapes how we define origins. It challenges the notion of a singular beginning. It introduces the idea that our universe carries echoes, signals, and perhaps even messages from other realms of existence. And if we've detected one, there could be others. Stay tuned to Space Loop, where the universe is never quite what it seems, and every answer opens the door to a thousand new questions.